So this is Old Max Farm. We basically jetted down after Baker's Point to get down here to Launceston. Um, long story short, I actually am trying to organise a production down here at the moment. We were crewing uh, and I found this video that our local uh, director, cinematographer had produced on a restaurant down here and I was like, man, we have to go to that place. It's all fire, it's called the Blue Cafe Inc. So we booked uh, dinner there tomorrow night and we figured it's gonna rain all day tomorrow and the next day so we thought we'd just get somewhere like this, get a base and be close to town so that if it is terrible, at least we've got some options there we can take the kids into town and do some stuff and uh, yeah, then head back out on the weekend when the weather gets a bit better. So this place has got animals. We're right here by the banks of like a little sort of lakey sort of thing, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, it looks like a really ripping spot. Like it's nice, grass underfoot, which is a nice change from the black dirt up at, or black sand up at Baker's Point. And uh, yeah, so oh, check that out. A few little ducks just landed. It's sick here. So yeah, looking forward to it. And looking forward to getting in and sussing out Launceston because it looks, we drove right through the guts of it with the van and it just looks yeah, beautiful little town. So yeah, so much, so many awesome houses and old sort of architecture and stuff that I just, you know, you don't see that. Not on the sunny coast. It's just, it's just not the depth of history there. So yeah, pretty nice. Looking forward to getting out and getting around. And also a few cheeky wineries around the place. So we might have to suss that out on the weekend. Kate's already spied a few that she wants to go to. So that should be fun. Good times. Yeah, looking forward to getting around and sussing it all out. Meanwhile, the girls have found some friends over the way and uh, we might be having beers tonight. So looks like it smiles all around. Fire and smoke and everything that Christian loves. And it's called Blue Ink. It's raining, we're in Launceston, there's not much else to do. So we're gonna go out for dinner and suss it out. Hopefully this, it's yummy. This necklace suit this jacket. Is that necklace blue. suit that jacket? Is that too much blue? They're not right colours. For the blue cafe ink. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is it? Paisa. Paisa. In the like the top five, oh, really? Maybe. Yeah, top five. yeah. I reckon even top three. Oh, yeah. And I think big things come for this guy. Pretty good. All right. Uh Show me. Show me. So that's farmer's market. Um, unreal. So much good fresh produce. Got myself some fresh flake. It's only like 30 bucks a kilo for gummy shark. That's so good. The flake here. Like it's proper flake, not like Queensland flake. And yeah, don't know what we're doing now, but farmer's markets in Launceston. Knocks it up for a win. Navy strength gym was alright too.
actually really beautiful. We're really surprised at how much we'd love it here. Um, Mom. Yeah. Can we stay another night? Yeah, we're staying another night. <laughs> Exhibit A. All right. Yeah, like the character and the beauty and the. I just love the houses, like that really old style. What is it, Victorian? I don't know. House. It's just yeah, lovely. It's my style. It's and nice. <laughs> And the shops are cool, the town's really cool, there's like churches everywhere and parks, beautiful green parks everywhere. You can hear the church bells ringing. Mm. Cool. Yes. Yeah. So, we um, are going to Cataract Gorge today. We've kind of been a lot longer in Launceston than we thought we would be. Initially, we only came down here to go to dinner at the Blue Cafe. Um, that we saw the video for on Facebook. We didn't really think that we would come down here. It wasn't something that some oh, people, oh, you have to go to Launceston. All I knew was that it used to fly in, that people fly in here. Like it was one of the places that you can fly to. I knew that. Um, but yeah, massively surprised. The place is just beautiful and so quaint to sort of drive around and just, yeah, it's just a lovely place to sort of to cruise around and look at. It's really, yeah, beautiful. And we've enjoyed it here heaps. It's been, yeah, super cool. But today, apparently there's this uh, place called Cataract Gorge that you can go out to. There's a bit of swimming out there and a cable car or something. And so we're gonna head out there and have a look at that. We weren't gonna stay today. We were supposed to leave yesterday and we just kind of keep pushing it back. So I guess that's sort of testament to how lovely it is here. And this is a ripping place, like Old Max Farm. Like you can just see, this is, most of his crew have sort of peeled out today, but it's just beautiful, nice grass, beautiful stuff around the place. And there's another little dam up over the back here. And I literally, yeah, we met um, the guys from Apanui Adventures that we've been following on Insta and Rob showed us he was using the, like this little lure up here in the in the dam so we're like oh it looks cool like we'll go get one of those lures we know nothing about fishing we just caught two fish in the dam which was awesome so thanks Rob because we wouldn't that would not have happened without you bro not at all and um yeah we've just basically been yeah just really enjoying it here it's been a lot of fun so we're not really itching to get out of here it's just comfortable but um, I think we should move on because we do want to see some other stuff. But yeah, Cataract Gorge today. And then once we're finished with that, we're, I think we're going to head up towards the Jants um, Winery. Now I know everyone's like, Bay of Fires, go do this. But like, we are so itching just to get saucy at the Jants um, Champagne House because we love champagne. And we particularly love that champagne. So we're going to get up around that uh, and stay up at a place called Piper's Brook. But I think that's tomorrow we'll leave. So... Yeah, good times in Launceston. And today, a uh, bit of Cataract Gorge. So, see you out there. Where are we going? On a day trip. Where to? An inclinator. Inclinator. Ready? No! It's
How many steps are we taking? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, you're not scared anymore. What's going on? Hey. That's from Aboriginal. Oh, I don't know if it is. place um, so much to look at and just good to get the kids out and walking and get a bit of exercise we've been quite sedentary since we did the uh, the whole back situation so now that that's all fixed up and sorted we're pretty good actually we head back now and have a few drinks around the fire and uh, yeah should be a good way to end the day what did you think of all that? <laughs> was it good? good? Was it good? Yeah, it was good, but really retiring. What was the best bit? <sighs> Seeing the view. Seeing the view? Mm. Did you like the bridge? Yeah. Ada was crying at first. What did you think of the bridge? Good. Yeah? <laughs> Not bad, then good. Oh, first time was a bit rough, was it? Yeah. Okay. So guys, we're about to leave Old Max Farm in Launceston. It was a beautiful little farm stay, so close to town. Um, we're quite sad to be leaving, but it's time to move on. And I think we're going to be going up to Lilydale, which is like 20 minutes up the road. But um, we're just going to have a look around, like Lilydale, Pipes Brook, um, Bridport area. Apparently there's a few wineries around there, so we're going to go check it out. The stay here at Old Max Farm was gorgeous. Like it's just, it's beautiful. There's lots of flat grassy areas to camp. <laughs> it's heaps of like water points dotted throughout the campsite as well. So pretty much like wherever you park, you'll be able to pull a long hose out to your caravan or camper van. Um, beautiful like lakes everywhere. We did some fishing. Um, there's heaps of blackberries, so the kids have really enjoyed foraging for blackberries and eating them. And yeah, there's like a farm here, like a petting farm, um, with goats and bunnies and cows and stuff. It's just been glorious, beautiful. So yeah, come and check it out. Fifteen dollars a night. Wow, hasn't this been unreal, Willydale Falls? It's just a ripping walk, it's so beautiful. We are excited because we're driving in through all these sick vines. We love it, and now we're finally here. So, yeah, it's a good time, good time feeling. Alright, I found my favourite, this one. 